my favorite math problem. If you were in grade 9, I would have given you this question, and it has a lot of nice mathematical realizations as you're working through it. You're given 240 meters of rope or something like that, and you need to fence off this area down by the beach. And the beach runs along here like a straight black line, and uh, you don't have to put the buoys along this side of this rectangle. So, your job is usually to maximize the area. And, of course, the area is the length times the width. When you go to take the derivative of this, because you're saying, I know my calculus, all I really have to do, take the first derivative, set it equal to zero to find the extreme, and then I'm going to know exactly what length and width to make it. And when you go to take the derivative, you realize, well, there are two variables here, not just one. This goes to the heart of all optimization problems. And you're going to find there are two pieces of information, usually, within that optimization problem. First of all, there's a relationship that you need to maximize. In this case, it's area. Unfortunately, area is being expressed as the product of two different variables. The second piece of information is inevitably a constraint. And in this case, there are 240 meters of rope that go all the way around the rectangle. As I make my length bigger, my width is getting smaller. And so length and width are actually related. And they're related as follows. 240 meters is equal to 2w plus l. And so this is my relationship that relates the two variables together. And what I can do is isolate L so that I can do a substitution. So 240 minus 2W. And I think this is going to be the substitution that makes it easiest. Sometimes you find out it is not. But in this case, I'm almost sure it is. Now we can rewrite our area relationship. Area equals... Uh, length, which we found out is 240 minus 2w, multiplied by w, which nicely becomes 240 w minus 2w squared. And when I take my derivative, I can do it with respect to the rate of change of w, and a primed is 240 minus 4w. Now I can set it equal to 0, I can find my width. But the important thing I want you to realize is that there is a relationship to be maximized, in this case area, and a constraint that's going to relate the two variables together so you can do the substitution. <laughs>